What is the difference between a violin and a fiddle? Well, welcome or welcome back to the Tune Project. If it's your first time here, I invite you to hit that red subscribe button below for more videos just like this one. And of course, if you like this video and find it to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so this is probably one of the most asked questions of violinists and fiddle players. What is the difference between a violin and a fiddle? Well, in all honesty, there's really not a difference at all. It's really just the style that you choose to play. So the instrument itself is the same, but it's just the style that you choose to play. So, you know, usually classical violinists refer to their instrument as a violin, while fiddle players refer to their instrument as a fiddle, but it kind of can go both ways as well. Again, it all goes back to the style. So, you know, if you were playing Celtic music, Irish music, things like that, you would probably refer to your instrument as a fiddle. You know, it's still a violin, everybody knows that, but the, the style in which you choose to play on your violin is fiddle. I use the two terms interchangeably for the most part. You know, I play all different kinds of styles and genres and things like that. So it does depend a little bit on the style that I'm playing at the moment, whether I'll refer to it as a violin or a fiddle. But again, it all really depends on what you're playing and your personal preference with what you choose to call your instrument, what makes the most sense and what feels like it fits the best with what you're doing. So I guess if we wanted to get technical about it, historically fiddles had a flatter bridge so that it was easier to play double stops. But other than that, there really is no major difference between a modern violin and a fiddle. It's, it's really the same instrument. It all points back to the style, as I've said a number of times now in this video. So I hope that makes sense. I know that was kind of a very quick description. I know there are several jokes surrounding the difference between a violin and a fiddle. I love all of them. One, I think, is, you know, you, you can't spill beer on a violin. A violin has strings, a fiddle has strings, you know, things like that. And it's all fun to kind of joke about that stuff. But in all reality, there really isn't a difference between the, the instrument itself. It's the same instrument. And now this is something to consider and maybe a question for you guys is, do you know if violas are called fiddles as well? That's not really something that I've come across because usually you see violas in more of an orchestral setting or solo setting, things like that. I know, you know, it's more varied than that, obviously, but I don't really come across many violas playing fiddle music, so maybe you know something about that. Let me know. I would love to be educated on that. Same thing with cellos. I do know several cellists who play fiddle music or play alternative styles, alternative to classical, of course, and they sometimes refer to their cello as a fiddle. So, you know, I think it really all just depends on the person who's playing their preference and what they like to refer to their instrument as. So I hope you got something out of this video. I hope it was informative in some sense. And let me know in the comments down below, are there any other jokes or any other differences that you know of or that you've heard of when talking about the violin and the fiddle? I would love to hear what you have to say about it. And until next time, happy practicing. If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I linked in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.